Choosing a new car can be quite confusing. You know, you've got to think about price, practicality, insurance, and that's before you even get started on things like what colour you want, what kind of trim or wheels you're going to go for. I know, I always find there's a really difficult balance choosing what you want to what you actually need. And in the world of electrified vehicles, there are even more variables to consider most of which sound like they wouldn't be allowed in the decent game of Scrabble. <laughs> so how do you choose between a Hev, a Bev and a Fev? Now, if what Ginny's saying sounds rather confusing, don't panic because we are here to clear the air and help you make the right decision when it comes to choosing a car. But let's start with the basics. So first of all, we just need to figure out what it's all about. That's kind of a big question, Ginny. I'm talking about electrified cars, obviously. And obviously, these three Hyundai Ionics. Now, they look identical from the outside, but they actually have three different forms of motivation. So how can we tell the difference? I just look at the badges. Apart from by the badges. And, and they're different colours. Apart from the colour as well. They're, they're all different. Let's start with an HEV or HEV, otherwise known as a hybrid electric vehicle. That means it has a traditional petrol engine, an electric motor and a small battery pack which work together. When you press the brakes to slow down, the energy is recovered by turning the motor into a little generator which tops up the battery. Then the power is used by an electric motor to boost the petrol engine and you don't ever have to plug it in. The car becomes more efficient, especially in town, because basically you're not wasting as much energy. Now, a good hybrid will generally use about 20% less fuel than a traditional internal combustion engine. But it's also worth remembering that a hybrid isn't an electric car in the traditional sense. It's more of an extra efficient petrol or diesel. This, on the other hand, is a FEV, or plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. It has a larger battery than you'll find in Tom's car, and it can be plugged into the grid to charge the battery. That substitutes some of your fuel mileage for electric running, which makes it cheaper to run, since electricity is cheaper than petrol or diesel. In this case, it means that you can run on pure electric for 32 miles. Now, most of us drive less than 20 miles a day, so that means you could do the bulk of your journeys in full electric mode. And if you're doing longer trips, then the car automatically switches to its petrol engine. OK, my turn. On to a BEV, also known as a battery electric vehicle. So just like this Ionic, it doesn't have a traditional engine at all. Instead, it has a big battery pack with an electric motor, so you never fill up with fuel. Instead, you plug it into a charging point at home or use a public charger. It also produces no localised emissions, i.e. nothing comes out of the tailpipe. It is almost silent, and if you charge it up at home, it's also as cheap as chips to run. The Hyundai Ionic will do about 36 miles on a single pound's worth of electricity, which is about the quarter of the cost of running a petrol or a diesel engine. Sounds like we should all just go out and buy pure electric cars then, right? Except it's not that simple. It never is, because there are pros and cons with every style of dry train. I'll start. A hybrid is basically exactly what you're used to, except a little bit more efficient. You use it exactly like a petrol or diesel car, you can fill it up at a normal petrol station, and you never have to worry about charging or range anxiety. A hybrid will always be less efficient than a FEV or a BEV. But a hybrid is also cheaper to buy, so you have to do some maths to figure out what works for the way you use your car. Lots of long journeys to towns across the country? Then a hybrid might work for you. But I think the normal hybrids are starting to look a little bit old school these days. A FEV is more expensive than a straight out hybrid, but it can run for much greater distances on electric power only. And if you're a business user, then a plug-in hybrid can attract some serious benefit and kind advantages. It's also as convenient as a hybrid, because if you can't charge or you're doing longer journeys, it just uses the engine. In a lot of ways, it's the best of both worlds. But is it the best? Well, besides all the environmental benefits, 
a pure electric car is better for you. It's quiet, it's calm, it's quick. Yes, charging takes longer than going to a petrol station, but if you've got home charging, then you wake up every morning to a full tank of charge. Think of it like putting your mobile phone on charge before you go to bed, and then you wake up and you don't have the stress of worrying about it on your commute to work. And Pure Electric gets all of the tax incentives. You don't pay congestion charges. There's no road tax. There's a government grant to help with the initial cost. And company car drivers will pay almost nothing in tax, which could save you thousands every year. The problem with electric though, Nikki, is if you smash it up and down a motorway for any length of time, your range drops dramatically. True. Pure EVs are more efficient in town and short hop driving. Even with a possible 194 mile range, you will be stopping more than a hybrid or plug-in hybrid and stopping for longer. And Nikki, they do cost a lot more to buy than a straightforward hybrid. The prices are roughly similar to my plug-in hybrid. Okay, at the moment, yes, that is one of the biggest issues with pure electric vehicles. Batteries are expensive, so a pure electric car will usually cost more than the more traditional counterpart. However, most, perhaps not all of it, is clawed back with lower running costs, depending, of course, on how you drive. So the real issue here isn't which version of the Ionic powertrain is better than the other in terms of what it does or how it drives. It's about how you use your car. You know, exactly. It's horses for courses. You've really got to think about, with electrified cars, what your lifestyle is like, how you use a car in order to get the best out of it. That's it, exactly. You know, I look at my driving style. I live in London. So for me, I think electric is the right choice. I won't have to pay for things like congestion charge. And if I look at the whole cost of the car over the lifespan, then it's definitely going to be cheaper for me mm. than driving any engine car. Here he is. That is worth remembering when doing your sums, but there is one thing you've forgotten. That hybrid costs way less than your EV, which would leave me with a massive budget for fuel. In fact, that thing actually does 625 miles to a tank, and it also manages 62.8 miles to the gallon. Okay, but can I just bring up the whole point of the plug-in hybrid? Yeah. Okay, so you've got the range there when you need to do longer journeys, if you're doing a lot of motorway driving, but if you have access to charging at home, you also have the option of running on pure electric as well. So, oh, you know... See, the problem with it is I'm leaning towards agreeing with you. Could you repeat that? Well, well I just, you know, <laughs> short journeys, those little pops to town, it's all electric. And then when you do the longer stuff, which is obviously important to me, it's an engine that's quite efficient. A hybrid possibly still has a place if you're banging it up and down a motorway, but I think I'm leaning towards Fev and Ginny. Yeah, but also, let's not forget, charging is only going to get faster and more convenient. There are loads more public charging stations popping up all over the country. So I think overall, for me, it's got to be electric. You know what? I think you're convincing me. Particularly when I consider that these two, the full battery electric and the plug-in hybrid, are actually quite close in price. And that does have an excellent range. I'm going electric too. You're both wrong. It's, it's the plug-in hybrid because you get based of both worlds. I can't win in this place. Just it's not wrong or right. Wrong. It's just what's right for you. <laughs>